Biden, the, the, the fact that he's willing to make a promise at the outset that it must be a black woman, I gotta say that's offensive. Racism is not just about whether or not a person likes or dislikes a person of a particular race. It's about the entire system that's behind it. On the campaign trail, Joe Biden said, if elected, I will nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court. And then when Justice Stephen Breyer retired recently, you know, Biden had his opportunity. The person I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. What Ted Cruz said was, look, you're excluding the vast majority of everybody for this selection in one fell swoop. And that, saying you're gonna pick just a black woman for this, you know, for this Supreme Court posting is racist in and of itself. It is an example how Democrats, and particularly the far left, everything is race, everything is, that they will discriminate based on race, they will pigeonhole you, they don't care about the independent, uh, the, the individual. What this is, is not just a misreading, a misunderstanding of uh, the role that race plays in history, the role that race plays in American society. Well, I believe it to be typical of this administration, which has been the most race-obsessed, gender-obsessed in terms of trying to deconstruct genders, actually. I mean, this is a hard, woke left administration. Although there are sort of underlying cultural issues that sort of affect how people feel about race, about affirmative action and all that stuff, you do have partisan politicians who are saying, oh, this is an opportunity to get these people on board with my policy. These prosecutors are vicious, horrible people. They're racists and they're very sick. They're mentally sick. Donald Trump has been a member of the 1% a cisgendered white man uh, from the moment he was born. He was the leader of the free world. So for him to proclaim that he is a victim of racism of a racist system is really kind of far-fetched. And he didn't really provide a lot of exposition about, about his justification and his reasoning, but we do know some things. All three, uh, all three prosecutors, two in New York, one in Georgia, are black. And that's, that's basically it. In reality, they're not after me, they're after you. And I just happen to be the person that's in the way. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz are tapping into something, which means there is something there. And what that is, is sort of this feeling by a segment of the American populace, you know, white, conservative, um, but this feeling that the pendulum of what constitutes racist has, has swung. The irony is that the Supreme Court is at the very same time hearing cases about uh, about this sort of affirmative racial <laughs> discrimination yes. and, 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 and while adding someone who is the beneficiary of, uh, of this sort of quota. It can simply be a thing that appeals to somebody's emotions and their sense of unfairness and grievance. What some people, what the people that Donald Trump and Ted Cruz are really talking to are saying is, look, I'm not racist. I haven't harmed black people. All I want is a fair and equal shot at whatever. And, and that the effort to basically forgive or correct the sins of, of our forefathers is actually having a, a clearly delineated harm on one group of people right now. And those people are white people, particularly conservative, conser conservative white men. It's actually an insult to black women. If, if he came and said, I'm gonna put the best jurist on the court. And, and he looked at a number of people and he ended up nominating a black woman. He, he, he could credibly say, OK, I'm nominating the person who's most qualified. He's not right. even pretending to say that. He, he's saying, if you're a white guy, tough luck. And so as we get closer and closer to these pivotal midterm elections that may control, you know, may decide who controls Congress and, who, and whether Joe Biden is able to push forward his agenda, as we get closer and closer to that, you, you, we probably will see these things in Thank you.